Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Roka Lockhart Lightweight Sunglasses. For those looking for modern optics and frames without oversized or overstyled sunglasses, then Roka has you covered. Their new Roka Lockharts are available both in prescription and non-prescription variations and offer a vintage silhouette with a lot of modern features. So packaging is pretty simple. You have a black sleeve that, go around, that goes around a white cardboard box, simple Roka logos on there. Nice little motto on here that says, do you? If we take this out, you can see you have a white cardboard box, again, very simple, with this little magnetic top. We'll go ahead and take out the box and go over specs. Retail price on this is $170. It's also available with the polarized lens for $195. It has retro styling, but it uses a lot of modern features, so you get a TR90 nylon frame. You get their C3 lenses, which is something Roka uses on a lot of their performance sunglasses as well as cycling sunglasses. You get the non-slip gecko material. This is the rubber material on the temples as well as the nose pads. And these are replaceable nose pads. You get multiple in the box. You get spring-loaded temple arms, so it can conform to a variety of faces. And you can see these nice thick cut frame design. In terms of what comes in the box, you get the sunglasses. We have the gold mirror lens here with the matte black finish, or the gloss finish on the frame. You get a fabric carrying case with the Roka logo on there. You also get the nose pads, and this is pretty cool. So it comes in this little plastic holder. You get three different sizes. It comes with size two by default. You get the little tool to pop it out, and then a larger and a smaller one to try out. Also in the box, you get a couple other goodies. You get the little decal for Roka, a little instructional manual on how to do the fit and change the nose pad pieces, as well as another little pamphlet on the different lenses and their filter categories. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. So with the size two default nose pads, it comes in at 24 grams, so quite light. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the Roka Lockhart sunglasses. You can see they combine a vintage silhouette. So you have a rectangular frame, very thick cut. You can see how thick it is on the corners. A little angled nose bridge, smooth corners, and then straight temple arms. It's very much a lifestyle design. So you can see it has no curvature where cycling sunglasses would have very high curvature. So it's something that looks great when you're driving around town and also good for performance sports because it's lightweight and the C3 optic lens. So these are a category three. These are the gold mirror. They look very cool and provide nice filtering uh, to keep the sun out of your eyes and a nice base brown color. We found it worked really well for cycling as well. It doesn't have quite as much coverage as an oversized lens, but instead of that, you have this more retro look and it's great for commuting or just urban riding. We still prefer the larger lenses for cycling longer distances as it keeps debris out of your eyes, but it's a great intermediate for those shorter rides. This is the matte black frame. They also offer four different options from clear tortoise as well as a bourbon color one. And those give it a much more vintage look while this is the more modern option. There are two lens options. We have the gold mirror lens and they also have a black variation as well. Otherwise, very simple construction, straight temple arms. You can see they're hinged, so I can actually hinge them outward. And then they snap in place and hold themselves really well. It feels very rigid, despite being so light. And with that nylon construction, you can actually stretch these out without worrying about cracking them or breaking them. Something you can actually drop on the ground and still use. Branding is limited to just a couple places. You have Roka on the side. You have this nice little accent on the corner. And then Roka again on the other temple arm. The other feature is the gecko non-slip material. So you can see that here. So this will prevent it from sliding off your head on the sides. And then the nose pads are made of that same rubber material. Swapping the nose pads is actually really interesting. Unlike a performance sunglass, which would just pop off, these are actually attached. So let's go ahead and take that off. You have to take your tool. Now, unfortunately, it's very easy to lose something like this. And with no hard case, that means you really should keep the cardboard box handy and store the extra parts in there so you don't lose anything. You can see this tool just has a little hook on there. So all you do is position that on the back side and then push down and you'll hear that click. 
So it's just a plastic tab holding in place. And then to reinstall it, you could switch it out. I'll just put the same one back. Again, you position it in the right orientation and then push it in and it should click and there you go, so you're ready to ride. It's a nice design, unlike the Oakley ones, which will tear. This one's less likely to tear. Now let's take a look at the Roca on the road. Really like these sunglasses for commuting or even driving. And especially here in California with the sun, the gold mirror lenses really work well. They block out the harsh sun and they have the nice mirror finish. And with the vintage look of these, they don't look out of place. So even if you're running errands, this is a pair of sunglasses you can wear around town. And thanks to the lightweight and modern optics, something you can get a lot of value out of as well. Now let's compare the Roca Lockhart and other sunglasses on the market. One really nice comparison we have here is a pair of Nike uh, prescription sunglasses. So very similar design. You can see the Nike is a little sportier as it has a flat bridge, thinner frame, and a little more smoothness to it while the Lockhart is a little more vintage with the frame design. Otherwise, similar design, the Lockhart obviously has a couple more features, such as the spring-loaded hinges, so this one won't flex out, just flexes inward, and this one has non-replaceable nose pads where the Lockhart does, so you get a lot of the performance features. Now, the nice thing about the Lockhart is not overstyled, so other sunglasses from Roca, like the Matador Air, you can see with the same gold mirror lens, it's definitely in your face, more of a cycling style, and you can see how curve this is much more of a visor fit so it really curves around while the lock card is more the performance style which is just flat so i personally ride with the the matador air when i'm cycling just because of the, how wide it is and how much additional vision you have but obviously this looks out of place when you're driving or around town and the other comparisons are other cycling sunglasses we have the pock aim here again just bigger frame more curvature they have replaceable, interchangeable lenses for a lot of the models, where the Lockhart doesn't. And then if you want even something more unique looking, there's stuff like the Oakley Capto we have here. And you can see it almost looks like a mask with the single piece lens that actually goes over the nose. So definitely more in your face, ton more field of view, just with the frameless designs they have. But again, something not you don't want to wear around town. And the lock card's a good balance between them. You get the high-tech lens from the more performance-oriented models with the lightweight TR90 frame construction that these all use. Now let's go over the scorecard for the Roca lock card. We're going to grade out in four different categories, design, optics, comfort, and value. For design, we give an A-. It's a nice vintage design with thick-cut frame. Optics also an A-, minus, while we really like the C3 lens. It is a limited selection of lenses currently with this model. And comfort wise, given A, it has a nice featherweight feel, so you won't even notice you're wearing them. For value, we'd give it a B, plus, as it lacks a spare lens or even a hard case. You only get the soft case and the cardboard box. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.